All right, welcome back to module nine of the investment rental course. We're gonna be talking about tenanting in this module. We're gonna talk about pre-screening your tenants. You need to take control from the start. As an investor, the, the one thing that we look for is control. So make sure with your tenants that you are taking control from the very beginning. So you wanna create a summary worksheet that's going to give you the details of every one of the people that you interview as potential tenants. You wanna write down their name and you wanna use it often in the conversation so you can start building rapport with that person. Always refer to yourself as one of the managers. You never wanna tell them that you're the owner of the property. This could give them some inroads and they can start thinking that they can negotiate price with you and other things at this point of the game that's just not necessary. So refer to yourself as one of the managers. Don't tell them you're the owner. Now, during that interview process, there are some specific questions that you wanna ask. Here are just some examples of a few of them. Have you driven by the house? How much are you looking to spend? Is there any particular feature that you would like included in your new home? When are you looking to move in? Will you be giving your current landlord a one week or a 30 day notice? How many people will be living in the home with you? How many pets will be staying with you? Why are you moving? Do you have any problems with your present landlord? What is most important to you about the next rental you select? Our next showing is on blank. Will that time work? I will meet you at the property at blank time. What is the best number to reach you? What is the best email to reach you? These questions are going to accomplish a couple of things. It's gonna give you the basic information that you need in order to communicate effectively with your potential tenant. And it's also gonna give you an idea of their experience with their current landlord and their current rental property to give you an idea of whether or not you wanna be leasing your property to this person. Now let's talk about the lease application. Much of the application process can be done online through services like Appfolio and others that are out there on the web. However, you can just use the old school paper system if you prefer. Get complete contact information for every one of the adult tenants and require a copy of all the adult's driver's licenses at the time the application is turned in. If possible, get a photo of the license plate on their vehicle or have the prospect provide vehicle registration proof. The last thing you want is for your rental property to become a vehicle junkyard. A good application can literally add thousands of dollars to your bottom line. It will help you qualify the tenant and will help you recover all the money due should the now qualified tenant have financial difficulty in the future. Always ask for references and most importantly, call them. I can't tell you the number of times I've worked with students where they asked for references, but they didn't call the references and regretted it later. Get employment references, get previous landlord references, and get credit references. Here are some of the tools and resources that you can use to vet your potential tenants that are at your disposal online. Private detectives, credit scores, screening services, public records, old landlords, personal references, employment references, bank references, credit bureaus, the National Tenant Network, property managers, the local police department, property owners, renters blacklist, and screening services such as Tenant Check, My Smart Move, Lease Runner, among others. This has been the tenanting module. Hopefully this gave you a great idea of what you should be doing to prepare to tenant your property. This has been module nine. I look forward to seeing you in module 10. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. If you wanna learn even more about this topic, hop on a free one-on-one -on -one strategy call with us. All you have to do is visit flippin.education to book your call today. That's flippin.education. Hope to see you there. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.